same person screw you over by oiling your lanes differently? He's just out to get you. Well, unless he's running the machine three extra times, it's not the lane guy. So why are the lanes reacting differently from one another? And that's what we'll be asking today, coming up on The Art of Bowling. Hi, I'm USBC Silver Certified Coach Arthur O'Connor. Here at the Art of Bowling channel, we discuss tips, tricks, and techniques to help you bowl your best. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you do not miss another episode of Art of Bowling. The famous physicist Isaac Newton once said, what goes up must come down. Of course, what he was referring to was the invisible force that's all around us affecting everything we do, including how we bowl and even our ball motion as it travels down the lane. Gravity versus friction, which is the greater force? Why does the left lane hook so much more than the right? And why do certain sections of every bowling setter vary from each other? It's called lane topography. Lane topography refers to certain slopes and indents found on each lane that make every bowling lane in the world unique unto itself. Friction is the action of one surface or object rubbing against another. In bowling, that's your ball skidding or rolling down the lane. Gravity is what keeps the ball on the lane and unfortunately in the gutter on a bad shot. So which of these two things has more impact on your ball motion, friction or gravity? The answer may surprise you. It's actually gravity. All those depressions and elevations on each lane play an important role on your ball motion for that particular lane. Now, if you gravitate to that answer, hit the like button. If that answer rubs you the wrong way and is causing you friction, please leave a comment below and tell us why. Here's a look at the lane topography from the Nationals. The different colors explain why certain parts of the lanes hook more than others. This is not the oil pattern. This is the lane underneath the oil that we're seeing. Compared to other topography maps of other bowling lanes, these are some of the most level lanes I've ever seen. The USBC takes great care in making sure that the playing field is as level as possible for this great tournament. This is the topography map from lanes 21 and 22 in Syracuse in 2018. I had the pleasure of playing on this pair during singles and doubles. I was not privy to this information before I bowled on this pair. Looking at the map scale, you can see that the green is neutral. Yellow and orange slope to the left with blue shades sloping to the right. The darker the shade, the more the tilt in that direction. I did notice that 21 moved in the back end more than 22. You can clearly see why in the slope differences in this image. It took me four games to figure out what was going on. My mistake was not recognizing that the pair was different sooner. My adjustment was to move right, pointing off the corner and throwing harder. This allowed me to use that little extra slope toward the pocket to create a good angle to strike. Topography is shaped by normal wear and tear that bowling lanes endure every day, every game, and every frame. From people lofting the ball down the lane to humidity and temperature changes, Trying to figure out what each lane is doing is part of the skill set in bowling. One lane will never act exactly like another. In a perfect world, all lanes would be perfectly flat and level. But as in life in bowling, nothing is perfect. We bowl against each other on different conditions, sometimes tough conditions. Talk to your local USBC certified coach to learn more about gravity in your shot. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Hi, I'm USBC Silver Certified Coach Arthur O'Connor. Coming up on The Art of Bowling. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes.